what's the real reason I take this treatment? Do I want to stay alive? I had no idea that there were other people like me out there living their lives. Ask your healthcare provider if Big Tarvi is right for you, and visit BigTarvi.com to view the important facts, including important warnings. Hello there, welcome to a very special Plus Talk on Plus Life. We're all about turning positive into a plus. The International AIDS Society Conference on HIV Science has just wrapped up in Brisbane, Australia. And a really cool exhibition that took place and is continuing uh, is called HIV Science as Art, where they pair a scientist and an artist, and that's who's joining me on Plus Talk today. I've got Kane, who's in Sydney, Australia, and, and Kai, good to see you, Kai. How are you both? Hello, everyone. Hi. So thanks for I'm doing well, this. I'm well, thanks. Thanks for doing this, guys. We, we talked about this a few months ago when this program was launching, and we, we put it out there so that people could find out about it. But how did you two... Kane the scientist, Kai the artist, end up getting paired up on this project. I had a look at some of the work of the various artists who were invited to join and uh, I was really uh, engaged by Kai's work. Um, so we uh, organised to meet by Zoom and had a chat about uh, my ideas for the presentation I was going to make at IAS and um, took it from there really, didn't we, Kai? Yeah, and uh, after that, we have a couple sections of Zoom meeting, and we both talk about our uh, perspective about you equal you. And I learned so much from Ken. And I mean, ever since I, I met Ken, people around me were like, oh, you're collaborating with Ken Race. Oh my God. And, and that's how I realized, oh my God, I'm a guy collaborating with a guy that's really famous in the community. and. I've been so flattered because we, um, I mean, we live in this different country and we have different cultural background. And I'm really glad that we get this chance to collaborate. Yeah, Kai, I know you're no stranger to highlighting HIV subjects in your work. So was this kind of a no brainer when this opportunity presented itself to you to go, I have to, and I want to be part of this? I first hear about the project from um, the curator, one of the curator, Jessica. And we have been collaborating with HIV policy on um, related art being a while. And when I hear about this opportunity, I was like immediately say, oh, I have to do, I have to join the uh, open co. I have to try to collaborate with these mysterious scientists I never know. And I mean, before I was like working more individually or more like with myself, I interview positive individuals around the world. I never get to work with a scientist, and I'm really glad to have this opportunity. Yeah, I think it's an interesting point you make, because for a lot of us living with HIV, we sort of, you know, make sure we're undetectable if we can, and we try and do all of that. And quite often the science side of things is what you're given to, you know, spoken to by your doctor, and quite often it whoosh over our heads. So it's got to be nice to build that kind of connection. And probably I would think the same for you, Kane, to have this really direct experience with someone who's living with HIV and, and who experiences it and, and, you know, is the benefit beneficiary of the work people like you do. Look, absolutely. I mean, I think that art has played such an important role um, throughout um, the HIV epidemic, pandemic, um, since the very beginning. So to be paired with Kai um, has been really exciting for me because I don't think we can really underestimate how brave it is for, for Kai as a person living with HIV to be producing the sort of provocative um, works that he's producing that give insight into you know people's experiences of not only medicine which is what a lot of the global response is articulated around today but also sex kai your piece of work is uh, is a sculpture uh, it is a sculpture of a prominent part of the male anatomy um it's it's clear and it's filled with all types of HIV drugs. Tell me a bit more about the process and how you took what you took from Cain and went, I'm gonna create a 3D molded image and fill it with drugs. So um, I want to create a sculpture that um, can say, okay, you see, I'm undetectable, I'm 
the body, my body is actually come is a combination of drugs, and this drug clear purify my blood, but and it's visible. And mean, but meanwhile, you can see a glass, a plastic, um, transparency, um, profile of my body, and is it create an invisible wall? And I also want to deliver um a piece of history about our medical medicine use in um HIV policy, policy treatment. So I collect the oldest from AZT to the most often used Travada. I mean it just became a narrative itself. And then, you know, uh, when I go deeper and deeper, and I mean, to do this conversation we can, I just start to think about, okay, I want, I need to be more selfish. So I created another piece of um, self-portrait with, uh, with a sculpture and um, me being naked and holding this sculpture, I guess, by doing that, I was trying to, uh, you know, just hide some part of me and my identity in the artwork because um, I often ask myself, how, what's the real reason I take this treatment? Do I want to stay alive or do I want to feel safe and fine in our society? And I guess that's one of the, um, the I, an idea that I want to deliver in the piece. Yeah, and I and I it's interesting. I know that you were not able or there's issues to get the piece into Australia, but it is still being it is still on display um in photographic form. Kane, what do you hope people take away from this beautiful piece of work? I agree it's a beautiful piece of work. What Kai's made out of our discussions is when we think about slogans like you equals you and and being undetectable you know, this is a very alluring promise and, and it's changed people's lives and, and you know, I'm right behind it in, in, in many senses. But one of the things that it does invisibilise is the sort of, you know, labour that maintaining an undetectable status involves. I think that, you know, Kai's work speaks at a sort of an emotional register, including the photograph that he's taken where he's included himself, um, you know, grasping the the piece of the male appendage that we're talking about here at an emotional and at an effective level it it just says so much about some of the complexities around sexuality and pill taking that are often glossed over in some of the the slogans that we come up with to 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 mobilize various actions if that's what we want art to do we want it to provoke we want it to emote and, and for us all to have that experience. Uh, Kane and Kai, congratulations on the collaboration. HIV Science as Art. Now, IAS Conference in Brisbane is over, but you can go and see a representation, at least, of this piece of art at Metro Arts in Brisbane through August 5th. And you can also check it out online, metroarts.com.au. Thank you both so much for spending the time with us. Thanks very Thank much. You. That's going to do it for this special episode of Plus Talk on Plus Life. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want more information, check out our website, pluslifemedia.com. You can follow us across social. We are at Plus Life Media. And if you want to check out Kane's work and the other excellent pieces of work in HIV Sciences Art, go to metroarts.com.au. Until next time, be nice to one another, be safe. We'll see you soon.